welcome back to my channel. Today I am actually back in London. I used to do like London vlogs like a year ago when I used to work for Glossier and obviously I'm not working at Glossier anymore and I don't come to London as often but I thought we could do a little London vlog because something quite exciting is happening today. I'm going to my first ever event we could say. So it's basically an event with Don't Shop Swap. They're doing like a pop-up with um, Wings Vintage and they're kind of having like a launch party this evening. I won't lie, I'm so so nervous. Like I have no idea who's going to be there. I do know some of the girls who work at Don't Shop Swap because I did um, a job with them a couple of months ago. So I do feel slightly relaxed because I do know the people who actually like are running the event. I'm still really nervous because what if there's people there that like I've watched on YouTube and like I don't really know what to say to them. Anyway we'll cover that later. Right now I am going to go to Central because I really really want to get a new pair of shoes. I really want to get the Solomon XT6s. I think that's what they're called. And then I'm going to go to my dad's office and do some uni work. And then I'm going to come back and get ready and I'll show you my outfit. <sighs> my outfit is just really shit because what I was actually going to wear didn't arrive on time. It literally arrived an hour after I left to go to the train station yesterday, which is really, really jarring, but it's fine, we can make it work. Um, this is what I'm currently wearing. I've just got a classic uh, Paloma Wool CD top on, and I've got my new Peachy Den cargoes on. Okay, so I've now come into Central, and I have reunited with my dad, and I'm gonna go into Soho and do some shopping, pick up some bits and bobs for my outfit later. Lunch. Having a bit of lunch. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, talk to you later. Like I literally never buy anything from Selfridges, but I've really wanted a pair of Solomons for such a long time And I was gonna order them online, but I've heard things about the sizing So I wanted to get them in person and I was originally gonna get the white ones like just the plain white ones But I thought they were a little bit boring. So I got The blue ones they're called the Arctic XT6s I believe and I had to get them in a size 7 because my feet could not get into the smaller sizes, which is so rogue because I'm normally like a small size five. So yeah, I definitely recommend sizing up if you want to get a pair of Solomon. It's now five o'clock and the event starts at seven, but I need to have a shower, make some dinner, plan my outfit. I've got a couple of options, but they're not like sensational because what I was actually gonna wear never arrived on time, which is kind of sad. But yeah, I'm gonna make dinner now, but I'll talk to you later and we can choose my outfit. Good morning, everybody. I have just woken up and ordered myself Oh, is my address on there? Nope, got myself a little Joe and the Juice. Let me just give you a rundown from last night. First, I'd like to say I literally did not film anything because I was so, so nervous and I wasn't exactly gonna like be like, vlog. Do you know what I mean? Like it just wasn't really the vibe. I met so many really cool people. There were so many people that I like follow on TikTok and like everybody was like dressed so well. All of the like fashion girlies all in one room and then like me and I was just kind of like, why am I here kind of thing? Like I couldn't really believe that like I was there and I literally met my favorite YouTuber as well, which was insane. She was so nice. And I made friends with all these like really nice girls. I don't know, I've never really experienced anything like that. So massive thank you to Don't Shop Swap for inviting me. I literally had the best time. I probably came across really nervous because I was. I did actually really thrive and it was really cool and I feel so hashtag blessed to be in a position where I could go to an event like that. Anyway, so plan for today, I am gonna have a chill day. I'm gonna go to Covent Garden and I really want to go to the Peachy Den pop-up before it closes because we all know that I'm obsessed with Peachy Den. And there's also a past trash shop now which I want to go and investigate. And I might pop into Glossier to say hi to my old pals. I'm not sure, depends how long the queue is because normally the queue for Glossier is so long and I can't really be bothered to wait that long. Right, who wants to see my Joe the Juice order? Because I think it's pretty interesting. So I get the avocado sandwich. I normally get it with like extra pesto and mozzarella I get the go away dock juice, I think it is. Oh my god, it's got one of those weird icky lids. Oh well, let's give her a taste. So good, it's literally like carrot, ginger and apple. And then I literally just get 
the chocolate muffin because it's so good. If you've never had a Jojo Juice chocolate muffin, I would highly recommend. They're really, really busting. Awesome. Oh, I'll tell you what I wore last night. I was quite late, like getting ready and I didn't really like think about it in time and time just like ran away. And I actually arrived to the event 40 minutes late and I was stressing out so much, but it was fine. I literally wore my blue Peachy Den parachute cargo trousers, my new Solomons I showed you yesterday, my gilet, which I'll probably wear today, so I'll show it to you later. And then literally just like my purple Arctrix and then my DDP bag. Like it was a really boring outfit and everyone was dressed so well, but I just wanted to be cool, calm and collected. And I just was dressed quite casually, so that was fine. I also got this like henna tattoo, which I smudged, but you can actually kind of see that it's a little star. Like I literally got it done and then I smudged it like two seconds later. So I was like, okay, that's fucked. You can actually kind of see it to be fair. Okay, anyway, I'm going to enjoy my Jane the Juice, watch some Jane the Virgin, and then we will go to Common Garden. Okay, I'm all ready now. So I'm just gonna quickly show you my outfit because it's actually, it's quite cute. It's not, it's nothing special. I'm going for the, the Gawp Core type of vibe. I've got my hair in these cute little plaits. And then actually I'll show you the jumper. It's just this like, kind of baby blue roll neck jumper that says, like it's literally just got like a five on it, which is quite cute. And then I have this little gilet on, which is from Soft Shop Clothing. I'll show it to you in a better way later. And then I have my new Peachy Den cargoes on in the navy blue color, cause I just really wanted some navy blue trousers. And then I just got on my shoes from yesterday. Oh wait, I'll show you down here. <gasps> Look how super cute they are. Oh my God, I'm literally obsessed with them. They're the Arctic blue colorway and they just have like the Solomon detailing there. I'm literally obsessed with them. And then I have this bag, which is from DDP. I'm really out of breath after doing that outfit. Oh well. Right, well, let's go to Covent Garden. <laughs> town and I'm actually going to order myself some dinner but I thought I'd quickly show you what I bought um I spent a lot more money than I thought I was going to but we move it's fine it's all worth it and it's just like delayed Christmas presents for myself that's what I'm telling myself anyway okay I'm just gonna change this little setup because it's not very good for me to show you the clothes okay I think this setup works a little bit better I went to the peachy den shop obviously um it was the last weekend of their pop-up so I had to pay a little visit and I got one thing which is very exciting I got 
fleece, which I am so excited about. I've wanted this fleece for quite a long time and it's literally a two in one. Like it was very expensive, but it's basically two jackets for the price of one. So it's actually a pretty good deal if you ask me. So this is what it looks like on. It's so cute. I'm really, really happy with the fit. This is actually a size small and normally I would like get like a size large and have like a really baggy moment but I kind of didn't want it to be like too long and I wanted it to be like fairly fitted which I'm very happy about. This is what it looks like on. Oh my god I'm literally obsessed. It's so cute and look the length of the arms is literally perfect and it has like a little detail where it says peachy which is so cute and it has a hood as well which I love, because not many fleeces actually have hoods. Like I was looking at all of the Stussy ones because I was going to get one of those. It's Stussy? Stussy? I don't know. And I was going to get one of those, but they didn't have a hood and I really, really wanted a hood. So this is literally perfect. I love the colours as well. It's kind of like multicoloured, but also I feel like you could wear it with like a lot of colours. I'm actually wearing it with my blue Mimi bottoms from Peachy Den as well. Oh my God, full Peachy Den outfit, so. And it looks really good, but I can see myself wearing it with the green ones as well. And also because the side that it flips onto is this colour, which is the oyster colourway, it would be kind of a slow, it's like a little matching outfit moment, but I'm gonna keep it this way around for now because I really like it more. But yeah, that's the first thing I got. Obviously I'm gonna take this label off, but I'll do that in a minute. Actually, there's some other stuff in this bag. Damn, they gave me some snacks. They gave me some dark chocolate and sea salt nuts and seeds and Salted caramel and chocolate seeds. These look really nice actually. I didn't realise that they'd given me these. Thank you very much. Love it when brands give you snacks. Brilliant. I then went and popped into Glossier, which was very nostalgic for me because if you didn't know, I basically used to work there. I saw some people that I used to work with, which was so nice. And I actually picked up some bits. So I got the Future Dew and the Cloud Paint and Storm. Sorry, this bag is annoying. I feel like these are the most like standard Glossier products, but if you don't know, let me just put you on. So firstly, the Future Dew. Let me just do my little spiel that I used to do when I worked there. Future Dew is a hybrid skincare and makeup product that you can apply before your makeup or as your last step in your skincare process. I'm so professional. Anyway, so it's basically like a kind of primer. I use it as a primer because it just like makes your skin really, really, really glowy before you like put anything on. I pretty much use all Glossier products. Like I am a true Glossier stan. Oh my God, I can't even open it. Maybe they've upped their packaging since I worked there. So yeah, as I was saying, it's basically like a primer. I put it on before makeup and it just looks like that. Is this smaller than it used to be? Maybe not. Maybe it's always been this size and I'm just lying. Okay, no, I'm definitely lying. I'm not going to waste any of it because it's very valuable. But you put it on before you put your makeup on and it's like a really, really good glowy base, basically. I really milked that explanation a lot. So yeah, I would really, really, really recommend this product. It's amazing. And then I obviously got a cloud paint in Storm. I used to wear the one in Spark, I believe, but it was a little bit red for me. And I started using Storm towards the end of when I worked there and it's just sensational. And again, highly recommend Glossier. I'll always be a Glossier stan. And yeah, they're actually coming out with a deodorant, which is kind of random, but yeah, love that. Big love to my Glossier family as well. I'm not sure how good this vlog was. I think it was a little bit all over the place. I was in a bit of a funk yesterday, so I didn't vlog that much, but hopefully I got some good footage for today. And yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I don't think it'll be very exciting for you to watch me eat my food whilst I watch TV. So I might just leave it there and I will see you in my next video. Bye.